everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today on my, wait, what? tip video, I am going to share with you some very good tips about how to be a better stamper on the internet. I get a lot of questions from people about where do I find that and I saw something on your blog but I don't know where it is now and um, how do I do this on Facebook? I'm not quite sure. So I've got some really good tips that are specifically for stampers to help you get around the internet a little bit better and some things that I do and use in my stamping that have to do with the internet also. And I have um, a really cool swap that I'm going to share with you so I want you to stick with me till the end. You'll learn some great stuff and then I'm going to show you 26 beautiful swap cards that I have received in a beautiful you bundle swap that I host. So each month I host a different bundle swap with some hand selected demonstrators from across the country and um, they do amazing work. I'm going to share all of those with you today as soon as I'm done sharing some internet tips. So hang tight. I'm going to reposition my phone and we're going to get down to business. Today's wait what video is going to be just a little bit different than you're used to. So I get a lot of questions from people asking how do I find this or where do you go for that or um, I went to your blog and I can't find this that or the other thing. So I thought today's tip video will be about how to be a better stamping internet surfer. So something just a little unconventional. Just a few things that I want to show you. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my blog, which is at www.astampabove.com. I'm using the Chrome browser. This is my blog. This is where I post all these fun ideas and videos and cards that I make or receive in swaps. So this is my blog. And the first thing I want to show you is you've got a tab that runs all the way across here. I have a lot of people asking me, how do I shop? How do I go to your store? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can click here. You can also click right here, order online. And then if, you are re if you're a blog subscriber and you're receiving my blog posts in your email inbox, at the very bottom of every single one, is an order online button. So you can click right here and that will take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. Here we are, we're in the store. Okay, let's go back to my blog. Um, the other thing that we have up here, we have weekly deals, we don't really have those anymore. We have specials, this will show you what's on special. Catalogs, you can click right here and it'll take you to, the stamp, to my Stampin' Up! website um, where it'll show you all the catalogs that are current. So here's our occasions catalog. This one ends on May 31st. You can click right here to see it now. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the annual catalog right here. Occasions catalog right up here. So you can just click on them. You can download a PDF right here, that little button, so that'll that'll get you into the catalogs. I'm gonna back arrow key back to my blog here events. If you want to know what's coming up on my calendar of events, you're going to click events. Right now it's showing me May and here's all the descriptions for what I have going on in May. If you want to see June, you're going to click on this little carrot arrow thingy and you're going to see what's going on in June. June 3rd I have my used stamp sale so if you're in the state of Wisconsin this is something you want to come to. It's, um, it's amazing. All right, now I'm going to back arrow key back to my blog. And we're going to go back one more time because we clicked through two screens. If you would like to become a discount shopper, you can click right here on Join My Team. And that's going to take you right to the Stampin' Up! website where you can order your discount starter kit. Again, back arrow key. You can contact me right here. And then this team blog, that's for my team of demonstrators. So that's a private blog that you can only have access to if you become a discount, discount shopper with me. Okay, next. Almost every blog has a search engine. And right here you can search for stuff. So lots of times I get questions like, 
Kelly, I saw this really cool fun fold on your blog and I can't find it now. So you can type in fun fold and see if it pops up. Click submit. That's going to do a search for you. Okay, here's a fun fold bunny card. Here is a beautiful fun fold. Here's a fun fold with pumpkins. Right up here, it says best match or most recent. And more than likely, you want to click on most recent. That's going to be the most recent posts that I have put up with the word fun fold in them. So here we go. We've got this is a fun fold, hey chick calendar card. So this is just a way that you can find stuff. You're just going to put in whatever word you think would match what you're looking for. Okay, so we talked about the order online button. This button right here is also on most blogs. And of course, I'm only showing you my blog because I want you to be on my blog. <laughs> But most blogs, um, you're going to find these buttons in some um, way, shape, or form. This is the subscribe button. And if you enter your email address here, you're just going to type it in and then click the subscribe button. Another little window is going to pop up. And it's going to ask you to type in this gibberish. And that just proves that you're not a robot and causing all kinds of Internet problems. You're going to type that in and click on complete subscription and it's going to tell you if you're already subscribed or it's going to say you're subscribed. Then you're going to go to your email inbox and look for a message from FeedBurner email subscriptions. You're going to open that and click on the link to confirm your subscription. That's exactly what this does. So I'm just going to close that window out. You're also going to find the May hostess code. Um, this hostess code is always in this particular column on the right and it's always updated each month. I just clicked home so I can refresh my screen and it's always at the bottom of every post that I do also. So at the bottom of my post you're going to find current things that are going on. When you order the Eastern Palace suite from me I will give you a tutorial as a gift of 25 different cards with all the dimensions, ingredients, instructions to make 25 different cards with that suite. Here's the retirement list. You're going to click on any one of these. We'll open up the retirement list so you can see what's retiring. Then down here it says um, you'll have a chance to win a free stamp set of your choice. Who won for the last month if you use the hostess code? And you all only want to do that if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, you'll get stamp and rewards, so you want to keep that for yourself. And then down here is a bunch of links. If you want to join my online VIP club, that's super fun. You're going to click on that here. And it's going to take you to another screen that tells you all about the benefits of joining my VIP online club and what you get. I send you cards and um, instruction sheets with techniques on them every month. So that's something fun. You can watch my YouTube channel here. You can check out the Occasions mini catalog here. You can shop with me here. Um, if you're new to online ordering, I have a video right here that will show you exactly what you need to do and where you need to add your hostess code to be able to get entered in that drawing. Paper pumpkin, you can go here. Here's a clearance rack. Um, if you want to start your own blog, I have a whole series on making your own blog so that's super cool and um, here's a little preview video that you can watch to show you what exactly is included in my blogging series and here this one get details local stamping events and ordering incentives here and if you click on that it will take you to a screen that shows you where I'm located when I do my classes directions um, it'll also tell you about the online VIP benefits. It'll give you the current hostess code. Um, it will show you all of the PDF files that I have available to purchase. So this is a screen that's kind of my base. This is my base screen. You can go through and find a whole bunch of neat stuff on here and also the catalogs. Okay, so that's enough about my blog. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is YouTube. So let's close out. Here's, here's YouTube. And I get a lot of people saying, Kelly, I watched a video on XYZ and now I can't find it. Well, you can go right to YouTube and you can type in my name. 
Once you type in my name, you're going to click on that link. Oh, there I am. You're going to click right here on Kelly Atchison. And now you want to make sure you go over here and click on subscribe because that'll make sure that all the videos I make comes right into your inbox on your email. So that's cool. The next tip that I have for you is to click right here on videos. And that's going to show you all my videos. So you can go, oh, there's that card I was looking for, or there's that little box that I wanted to make, and then you can watch any of them. And I've got a ton of videos here. You can see that it's just kind of never ends. So lots and lots of stuff for you to check out. I have one more thing that I wanted to show you on YouTube. A lot of times when you're watching um, stampers on YouTube, they will re refer to the description under their video for links and things like that. If you're watching a YouTube video, here's where you're going to find the description. And you see this little button here that says show more? When you click on that, it's going to show you everything that is under this description, which usually includes a link. So you can click right on this link and go right to somebody's blog. Hopefully it's mine. <laughs> well, you know. Um, but that's going to take you right to the blog post. And I often refer to the blog post because I'll tell you that I put all the dimensions and ingredients on here. So if you need to go find anything, here's the dimensions. And if you need to shop at all, it says click to shop. You can click on any one of the products that I list here and it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store where you can place an order if you are in need of some of these supplies. So here's that diagonal stripe clear mount stamp. Oh my gosh, this is the bomb. You can make as much striped paper as you want in any color you want. Anyways, back to my video. I know, I get sidetracked like squirrel. Okay, we're done now. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is Facebook. You're going to go right to the search bar right, right here and you can start typing in a stamp above your creative coach. And that's how you're going to find me on Facebook. This is me. This is my business page on um, Facebook. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because you can search for any group on Facebook by putting in what you're looking for right here in the search. Now, you're going to click on that. And that's going to take you right to my Facebook page. Okay, I share a lot of stuff on here. And you're going to click on like. That way, when you're out surfing on Facebook, if I add something new, it's going to come across on your timeline so you can see it. And if you are a customer of mine, which means you've placed an order with me, I also have a Facebook group for my VIPs, and they get um, some extra special stuff that I share with them. So if you place an order, I add you to my VIP group also. To show you is Pinterest, because all of these things are very important tools that we as stampers use. When you go to Pinterest and you want to try and find somebody, again, you're going to put in the search, Kelly Atchison. And let's see if I come up. Okay, here's some of my pins. And you can find me that way. Um, the other thing that I wanted to let you know is how to search for stamp sets. So let's say you've purchased the Swirly Bird stamp set from me. I always put in the name of the stamp set and then Stampin' Up. Click Return, and this will bring up a ton of projects made with Swirly Bird. So if you've purchased a stamp set and you don't know exactly what to do with it, you can do a search like this and you can find a gazillion ideas to help inspire you or to completely copy. Um, we call that casing. Copy and share everything. And of course, that's what Stampin' Up! demonstrators love to do, right? Okay, so I think I've taught you enough tips about how to get around on the internet as a stamper. I hope you learned something new. Let's get on to that card swap that I told you about because I'm super excited for you to see these cards. Okay, you guys, I have 21 different cards to show you. This is the first one. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, it's beautiful you. I love the simplicity of this one. Here's a, here's a fun fold. 
This is the new um, Lemon Lime Twist. Look at this. Using the silver, um, what's that paper called? The silver foil sheets. They made a mirror. Here's some more new in colors. Lemon Lime Twist. Here's some of those new glitter embellishments that are coming out in the new catalog. Aren't these just gorgeous? I love the color combination. And here they free-handed with an aqua painter a skirt on the lady. Another pretty one. Another skirt. I have to say, when I first saw this stamp set, um, we saw it in Madison when we went to an on stage. When most people saw it, they were like, oh yeah, I don't know. But I'll tell you, as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. This uses the Eastern Palace um, die underneath there. And here's some more new in color paper. I love this. Doesn't that just look like kind of a stormy day? And here's another fun fold. Again, here's some of the new paper. This is um, Berry Burst. Very pretty. How about this? This is like 4th of July. Another beautiful card. These are just all so pretty. And then here's the three cards that I made. Again, this is new designer series paper. This is the watercolor technique called aqua wash. You can find that on my YouTube channel. And if you watch the video, you'll know how to search for it. <laughs> and again, more new paper coming out in the um, new catalog. So, there we have it. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com. And if you would like to order this beautiful used stamp set from me, it is a great combination with our watercolor pencils. Um, that's a great tool to have with this stamp set, you can hop on over to my store and I showed you how to get there through my blog, right? And I'll put my blog address up on the screen at www.astampabove.com. I really appreciate your orders. It allows me to continue to invest time in making videos um, and sharing great stuff with you. Thanks so much for sticking with me. If you leave a comment under this video, I'll pick a winner and send out a few of these cards. And make sure that you check your comments because I'll hit the reply button and comment back to you and then you'll need to give me your address. I've had people who have won in the past and they never respond. So don't forget to check your responses to your YouTube comments. Add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card.